But what caused this phenomenon so far south? Meteorologist Alex Pry explains. The Aurora Borealis is a true atmospheric wonder. But what causes this spectacle, and why did we see it all the way down here in central Georgia this past weekend? Let's break it down. The Aurora is caused by emissions from the sun. There are clouds of electrically charged particles that travel millions of miles away all the way to Earth. The Earth's magnetic field captures some of these particles, heating them up. So the northern lights are essentially particles from the sun interacting with molecules in our atmosphere. And their wavy shape comes from the forces of the Earth's magnetic field that we can't usually see. But this display is usually visible only at the north and south poles, right? So why did we see it here in central Georgia? Late last week, the sun produced a massive solar storm that sent more particles than usual into our atmosphere. This set the stage for areas further south to see the spectacle. And many of you caught the pinkish red hue in the night sky, rather than the green you usually see near the poles. We saw different colors of the aurora because of two different things, the height of particles interacting and which of our atmosphere's two main gases they collide with, oxygen or nitrogen. So our pink color was from oxygen particles very high in the atmosphere interacting with particles from the sun. This is a very rare event that typically happens once in a generation. Hi, right, thanks, Alex. The weekend storms were labeled a historic G5. That's the highest level on the ranking scale. A solar storm of that size hasn't been seen on Earth since 2003.